all right everybody welcome to your 14th angular tutorial in which i'm going to show you what two-way data binding is in angular and how we can work with it to reduce our code and make things less cumbersome so what i'm going to do is first of all get rid of this and uh, this one as well right so we're going to say uh hello and then we're gonna write username here right and finally we're gonna create the input type text which says that its value is uh, let's just do it the ugly way first value is username right so that would pretty much display the value username every time we reload our app so we can say username is equal to code dam right and if you take a look in the browser you can see that we get hello code dam and like that and nothing happens right now that's fine so how do we create a logic that uh, when we update the text in here the text also updates here right so the first thing is that we need to update this username right here so if we can do that if we can update this value whenever if we can update this username whenever the user types some value then this would be automatically handled by angular so do that what we can do is we can listen for an input event and whenever that happens what i want is change uh, username and we can pass in the event which just happened so right here we can say change username is a function which gets an event and uh, right here we can say this dot username is event dot target dot value okay so that looks obvious and if i write something now we get uh, change username is not a function and uh, change username well i don't think so we have any error oh i guess i didn't save the file okay so now if we take a look you can see that it works but such coding for you know this is this is quite a small logic for angular to handle and uh, if you have used angular js then you might remember that this could be pretty much done without even touching the script file with ng model right and the similar thing we have with uh, angular as well and that is kind of doing a two-way binding so you can see that the square bracket means make it uh, um, available to the view the circular brackets means that we're going to send this to the script so how about combining both of them so what we can do is instead of doing all this garbage and mess we can simply create just username right here and right here we can make use of the square brackets and then a circular bracket and we can say ng model just like we did in angular js and then simply we can say this is username so if we save this and uh, yes obviously because we need to we are making use of this custom directory of ng model and it's not present by default so we are gonna move back to our app module and inside imports we're gonna import something known as forms module which contains this ng module directive and uh, we can just import that from forms module and it's actually present in angular form right so if we now take a look again and uh, let's just see what's happening okay so now if we type again you can see that it pretty much works the same way but without a lot less code and a lot less ugliness right so ng model is one way to two-way bind data right so you can create your own directive as well if you want to 
but uh, right now for demonstration purposes i guess ng model would be your best example so yeah that is how pretty much you can actually try to create a two-way data binding between the view and the script where the thing user is doing is immediately reflected reflected on the screen as well or at least in the variable and uh, yeah so that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe like the video and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one